Welcome back, everyone, to more Infinite Space. All right. Um, let's see, we're at Middleine. Oh, that's right. We had the whole crazy gate thing happen. As Yuri and company move toward the ship, a lone figure stands in front of it. Ian. Sal, Yuri. It seems you've defeated Deputy Viceroy Desmond. Not exactly. He more or less did the job for us himself. Heh. <laughs> it sounds like something that fool would do. Hey, Ian. You've changed your mind yet? You ready to join us? No, thank you. Serving under the Lugavalian Empire still feels like the right place for me to be. We've already picked our sides and chosen the lives we want to lead. But Ian... Here's a word of advice, though. Return to the LMC as soon as you can. Desmond reported your attack to the Vice Royalty before he died. A massive fleet will be coming for you shortly. Okay. Thanks for the tip, Ian. Yuri, you live your life your way. I'll live my life my way. So long, Ian. Yeah. So long, Yuri. With that, the two men part, walking past each other as they go their respective ways. Neither of them gives any sign of looking back. Dick! Okay, listen up, everyone. We're pulling out of the SMC right away. First, we'll have to make it to the Void Gate of Spetsis before the enemy surrounds us. Any stragglers will be left behind. Okay, then. We'll go here first to rest. Yuri, enemy fleet ahead. They're coming straight for us. That's the fleet that's been after us. You gotta slug it out now, Yuri. Bring it on! Fighters, deploy! Target their destroyers! Leave nothing to chance. All guns, check firing tables and calculate course projection. Hurry! Pretty sure you guys can hear Speedy. He is purring really loud. Kaboom bones! Get some! You got knocked the frick out, man! And that was dead. One more destroyer. That tickled. The booms. Now we target their cruisers. <laughs> oh, you trying to attack my carrier. The frig out of here. Shablamos. Shabooms. Are we all clear now? Oh no, Yuri, more ships are headed our way. Forget them. We're heading back to the LMC now, and nothing's going to stop us. We can repair and recuperate along the way. Francisco Luis. We spotted that ship. I knew we could catch up with them. Now all we gotta do is keep them busy until the rest of my fleet gets here. Should we try a diversion tactic to slow them down? No, I don't think he's gonna fall for cheap tricks like that. Let's engage right now. You know, kind of feel them out. Okay, Yuri, it's time to see what kind of man you are, if you're a man at all. Don't sing it. Bring it. You frickin' spoiled douchebag. Guess there goes a the ship. Kabooms! There's another ship. Kabooms. <laughs> you missed! There's your frickin' garbage. There's another ship. Oh, Seiko! You're losing all your boats, yeah. Look at all my fighters going. He's not even trying to shoot them down. 
<laughs> you fool. We're no match for him right now. <laughs> Who would have thought he'd end up being a true warrior? I want to speak with their captain. Make it happen! Hey, yes, your highness. I'm Yuri, captain of the Bismarck. <laughs> Hi, Yuri. You know, you didn't turn out half bad. Huh? What? Don't tell me you don't remember me. It's Seiko. Seiko? Wait, not that Seiko. The one and only. Long time no see. You went and joined up with those Lugavalians. <laughs> you got it all wrong. You see, my full name is Seiko Luis Maponos Lugas. I was born a prince of Lugavalos. What? <laughs> that look of shock on your face. It's priceless. Still, it's not like I tricked you enough or anything. When we first met, I really was plain old Seiko, finding my way through the universe. Anyway, sorry for that bombshell, but I have a little proposal for you. I'm listening. I've always wanted to slug it out with you, you know, fleet to fleet. My fleet's almost here, so if you could just wait, wait up, we could butt heads for old time's sake. Sorry, but that's not going to happen. What, you gonna chicken out? You admitting you still can't beat me? You're not gonna run away with your tail between your legs again, are you? Actually, that's exactly what I had in mind. Huh? All engines back thrust, full speed ahead. Let's kiss the sector goodbye. No, wait, Yuri, wait! Click! Floor it! Boy! Dang! I thought I could stall him for just a little longer. What the heck is my fleet? It's still heading our way, your highness. By my estimates, we should be able to rendezvous in an hour. Dang it! Gate. Let me go to that gate. All right. Meow. Yuri, right, there's an enemy fleet coming at us from our port side. I don't think we can shake them off. Open all gun ports. Get ready to fire. Oof, this is a big fleet. Okay, knocked out two boats. Good, we don't have our dodge on, so... Our evade was at max. Ah, oh, let's get rid of their... You know, get the battleship first. Because the carrier isn't going to do crap all for damage. It's the same as mine. There we go. Didn't lose very many ships. Or fighters. Are we all clear now? Oh no, Yuri, more ships are heading our way! Forget them! We're heading back to the LMC now and nothing's gonna stop us! I keep saying that. Then we get to Chios. Okay, back to the gate. Yeah, we made it. We're finally getting some action. Yeah, we made it through! It's not over yet. We're not safe until we're back in the LMC. We're here to rest. I'm glad I got my livability up so high. That fleet's in front of us now! Those tricks don't know when to give up, do they? Yeah, I'm glad I got my livability up way high, because it is helping us so much. It sucks, we're fighting full fleets and we're still using, you know, an 80% fleet. We should get the, the last uh, fleet buff here pretty soon, I would imagine. That's nothing. 
Yeah, yeah we haven't just stopped at a spaceport at all. Look at our health. We just keep repairing everything. They got such a good uh, repair crew. Get the frig out of my face. Good, Kira leveled up. Very nice. Getting lots of fame. Enemy fleet destroyed. Keep your eyes peeled. We're not out of the woods yet. way to get to the gate. I want to say we got to fight Desmond here pretty soon. Probably right now. Nope, there's a Elgava fleet in the way. Yuri, there's a fleet in front of the gate. Dig it, they beat us here. We got a fleet closing in from behind too. Five, no, ten ships and more are coming. Let's crush, crush that fleet ahead of the gate fast. We need to get to that gate at any cost. Target their destroyers. All railguns, fire. Kabooms. This is an Elgava fleet, man. We'll freaking slap these guys out and be done with them. And me being back this far away from them, some of their guns aren't even firing, so it's like that's why they're not really doing a whole lot to me because I can just I'm basically sniping them to death. They're trying to shoot me, but the kids <laughs> have such long range artillery now. Oh man, we have lost a lot of fighters. Oof, we're down to 46. They're still doing deep good damage though. All enemy ships ahead have been eliminated. Yeah, but the fleet behind us is in combat range now. And we're picking up an inflation reading from their gun batteries. We can freaking bring it. Yeah! They're coming out swinging. Hang in there. If we can just get there near the gate, its void field will neutralize their laser fire. We have to get to that gate. Yeah. I mean, but what's to stop them from following us through through the gate? You know. I like to look at that battleship. Are we through? Yes, we're back. Back at the LMC. No way, really? This is the LMC. Way cool. It seems we managed to escape somehow. Yes. But if once they pursue us through the gate, I doubt they'd come rushing blindly through the gate when they don't even know what's on the other side. Plus, they've got their strategy. And what do you think that might be? Lugo volumes will only invade the LMC once they can come at us full force, and not a moment sooner. Full force, eh? And that's the Lugo Valian way? Whew, we made it. Let's head back to Boland's. Hey Nell, you see Yuri around here some anywhere? He was just in Kira's room a moment ago. I assume that's where he still is. Ah, well, I guess I shouldn't bother him then. Do you need to see him about something? Yeah, I have something for him, but I keep forgetting to give it to him when we're on the bridge. Well, I'll tell the captain to go see you the next time I see him. Great, thanks. Are you done changing yet? Yeah. Kira, who had been facing the wall, turns around when Yuri responds. Wow, you look really good in that. Oh, yeah? What the heck is that? I like my old battle gear thing, because it looked... What is this? Like, what is that? It's like half cape and like pauldron that's not fitting right. What even is that? I like the old look because it had like a skull and a chest and everything. Yes, it really suits you. I still can't believe Nia got these bodysuits for us. <laughs> she was really looking forward to the day we were both grown ups. At least that's what Selena said when she gave them to us back on Skansora. 
Nia. Yuri? Hmm? Everyone's been too afraid to ask, so I'm just going to come out and say it myself. What happened to Nia, Yuri? All I can say is I believe that Nia is still alive somehow. Somewhere out there in the vast sea of stars. Oh, Yuri? What is it? Don't fight with hatred in your heart. I know. Galactic Federation Home Planet Mirror Guild. Lennox, I read your report. It's very thorough. But I suppose I should expect nothing less from the FSN. Just doing our job, Mr. President. Yes, well, that Yuri seems to be growing ever more special by the day. Your report says he even used an epitaph to open a gate. Is this true? It comes from intel provided by our agents, so yes. You can take it at face value. Hmm. It seems that whenever, wherever he goes, things are never quite the same again. It's really strange. I can't figure it out. Or him either. Who is this guy? Who knows? All I know is that it's way beyond the FSN's area of expertise. You'd better be off asking a scientist or, you know... No, I don't know. Please, do tell. Maybe even a religious person. Huh? <laughs> so religious! Someone religious, you say? No! <laughs> Maybe we should go ask those Odysseans then. Find out what their opinion is. I could arrange that if that's what you truly want, sir. You do know I was joking, don't you? The thought had crossed my mind. No. Woo, we made it. Holy crap. Hey, Yuri. You're just the handsome devil I was hoping to see. Uh, Nell said you had something you wanted to give me. Yeah, that's right, man. Here, check this out. It's all yours. As he says this, Torlo proudly holds out a blueprint plate for a ship. What's this? Blueprints for a warship. Buddy Mine and Resistance lifted him off from a Lugo Valiant base. The design base is Nova Nassian, but word is it also uses Lugo Valiant technology. The specs are totally awesome for a ship for the SMC. I thought it might help you out in the battles ahead. Paradiso class carrier. Ooh, a new carrier. Heck yeah! Yeah, whatever. Stop talking. If you're not giving me stats, I don't care. I was disappointed to hear about Captain Valso. I thought he would have joined us in opposing the Gavalos. He chose to save the lives of his people. Surrendering was his only option. Back then, Novanasio didn't have the means to defeat the Gavalos. We still don't have the means to defeat them either. I know. We still have a lot of work to do, don't we? I was really shocked that you came back to help us, Yuri. I thought those scientists were going to keep making us conduct research at that facility until the day we died. So they captured you so you could develop an artificial epitaph for them? I believe so. The Lugavadian soldiers that captured us said something about us knowing a lot about epitaph research. Precisely. I was surprised by my fame, how my fame preceded me. After all, even Lugavadians knew me, of me and my work. <laughs> That's not the issue here, Professor. They were only planning on capturing him, but he marches to the beat of his own drummer, as so to speak. I was probably just taken along for the ride because Lugavalos didn't know how to handle him. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. Okay. Well, well, well. Let's go check out the new boat. I could use a new carrier, because this one's... Eh. Oops, back. Shipyard. Here we go. Carrier. Ow. Oh. No, that is not going to help at all, Torlo. That thing is hot garbage. What are you thinking, man? That thing is 
just trash. It's worse than the Daphne 2! No. No, stop giving me crap, freaking crap boats. Um. <clears throat> what could we do? God, I think it's stupid expensive. It's only got one customizable weapon slot, but. No! I mean, this thing's decent for what it is, but no. That's good. And then we got the Agrel, which is my Bismarck. Still, very good battleship, but I like these. It's only $400 cheaper than your grill. Gobs of armor, hit points. It says this anti-ship is bad, but no, it's actually pretty good. Because the guns are freaking sick. Alright, uh, let's check our ranking. We haven't done that in a while. Ooh, we're rolling up in there, boys. we got to get like a thousand fame, and we'll be up in the... Top 100, and we'll start getting the good. We'll start getting stuffs. Okay. Uh, we're kind of killing time here, but check the, check the crew. Yeah, some of these guys are getting pretty good at stuff. So, all right, we got some money. We're starting to get some money in our pocket again. Head on back home. Oh, holy crap! It's these idiots. This is what I grinded on for like two hours, <laughs> making about this much money, and got all those boats upgraded. Oh my gosh! They want to just keep fighting. Hit them again. That'll do it. All right. Three days after Yuri and company returned from the SMC, Dietrich Steiner's report to the current base, blah, 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 as a result, the General Assembly has been plunged into chaos. In response to local volume threats, the Federation has decided to do a thing and defend sectors, strategic points, and uh, blah, I can't read it fast enough. Looks like they're trying to build up their defenses finally. Are you saying it's time to deploy Order's fleet? I believe that is the only way to break the stalemate. Yes, but even that recent fleet review was denounced as a pressure tactic on the Interplanetary Assembly. Mr. President, the LMC needs Libertas' strong leadership to protect it from these intergalactic invaders. Remember, we are still threatened by Aetis as well. Yet the Federation does not unify into a single cohesive force. The LMC will suffer the same exact fate as the SMC. Are you suggesting we take over the holy nation of Aetis too? Eventually, yes. Mr. President, this is the perfect chance to create a unified government for the first time in LMC history. Will you sign now, Mr. President? I feel like a glorified figurehead. Do you even need my signature? <laughs> if I didn't know better, I'd say you were becoming cynical. Daniel Evans uses a file coder to verify Bernard Bryan's signature and biometrics data, and then nods with a satisfied smile. Now, if you'll excuse me. Sure. As soon as Evans is out the door, Bernard sinks into his chair with a deep sigh. And so it begins. Now the only question is, what role will Regineland and the Special Prisoner play? The Vanguards will play. Canopus. What's to become of Escondido now? Okay. No, 
know their civil war is over. Escondido's uh, that. Uh, I can't imagine Escondido's big shot neighbors will let them pursue their own interests. And a merchant. I just came from Escondido with a load of Volcanoid on my ship. This stuff makes unbelievably good armor. Plus, it can only be mined there, which means it can fetch a nice price on other planets. Federation merchants are willing to pay almost anything for it. Well, good for you. Whoops. I think we'll head here and then we'll call the Vigia. Oh, don't sing it, frickin' bring it! Your frickin' trash boats. Pilot level up and combat level ups. Where are you running? There's no hiding from me. <laughs> All right. This looks like a good place to stop really quick. Check out the tavern. We can at least do this quick. Trying to sell off the mining rights for a valuable resource planet in the Federation. I bet those sleazy politicos are getting kickbacks from the Federation companies involved in the deal. We really hope the rebel forces crush that corrupt. <laughs> but if, what? But there's no civil war. Okay, there's nobody talking of anything of interest here. This is where we learned about rail guns. Okay. Anyways, that's going to be all for today. Thanks everybody for watching. And I'll catch you on the next Infinite Space. Later.